Welcome to Crash Racer. Today we're playing Wreckfest and we're going to have a go at the four daily challenges in the tournament mode. The first challenge today is at the Sunstone Raceway and we're in this monster vehicle. Let's have a quick look at the tuning options. I'm going to soften the, soften the suspension a little bit because a lot of this track is dirt track and I'm going to shorten the gear ratio to the max try and get a bit more acceleration yeah let's lock the differential slightly improve our grip and again acceleration and let's get into the race <clears throat> just a two lap race now you might be wondering why I've messed around with the tuning options where normally I don't touch them. If you've just seen the start of this race, you probably <laughs> you probably realise why. Again, normally I don't practice the daily challenges. Normally I just go straight in and uh, and have the race. If I do that and it turns out of a, a bit of a disaster not an entertaining race I might restart it that happens sometimes but uh, but in general it's just uh, I normally go straight in first attempt no tuning options but as you saw off the <laughs> off the start finish line there the acceleration of this ooh, nearly of this vehicle is just appalling and once you've lost speed as well obviously that's what acceleration is it takes you quite a while to get up to speed again I mean once it's up to speed it's okay god what's that doing coming around the wrong way so hence I've changed all the tuning options and as you saw I've put it to like maximum bias towards acceleration and we still get <laughs> smoked oh well we'll see how we get on anyway that crash yet yeah. can we avoid it because again this is such a big heavy vehicle that actually hitting of the cars isn't really the end of the world because you, you sort of plow through them but the thing is you lose a bit of speed and trying to gain that speed back again is not easy like there I had to lift to get that around that corner and now we're trying to build that speed up again Oh, someone right behind us. Take that narrow, we should be able to get straight through. Whoop. Same place now. The car's gaining on us as well. Thought about going around this loop the other way causing a bit of havoc that way, maybe getting in a few places but I'm not sure how much good it would do. That's the winner over the line here. A little way behind. So we're through for 11th place. Not a great start at all. On to the second daily challenge of the day and back to normality as well. No, no practices, no dry runs and no tuning. We couldn't if we wanted to with this one. There's uh, no tuning available for the Robin Reliant. Okay, this is a six lap race and 16 vehicles. A little bit of a crash there beside us. Oh, this is nice to be back in a car with some acceleration some good speed or at least relative to the other vehicles in the race at least up to four straight away that's not too bad and we've got good speed down the straight oh that's a oh that's a big crash on the right so that's good yeah i can see we've got a problem with cornering though maintaining our speed through the corners i don't know if there's a better way we can do that using that other car to 
can nip our front end round the helps. If we don't get spun out there. Yeah, again, great speed on the straight. But then I can't maintain it round the corner. Ooh, nearly ran it too wide. Knocked him over. Been caught from behind now. Just so slow through the corners. Fine on the straights. Give these guys a bit of a knock. Right, let's cut in. Try and pick up some speed here. That's it, give him a bit of a knock. what we can do different to uh, to maintain our speed better around the corners try to sort of just rolling it around the corners maintain speed that way and I've tried drifting it round as well and it doesn't seem to really make much difference which I do neither's fast enough but once we can get onto the straight as long as we don't hit a wall like that, we're fine. It's a shame we couldn't tune this car actually. But we've just got a bit more grip. That's all we need, a bit more grip in the in the corners. We'd have been fine. Come on, last lap. Can we hold fifth place at least? Yeah, fifth place. OK, we've got three minutes to get as many points as we can. See if we can get some good early hits in. I'm not going to say no to it, sitting duck like that. Oh, I'm just about to lose my multiplier though already. It's really not good. I'm going to build it up quick. Let's reset there because we weren't going anywhere fast. Oh, big hit on him, wrecked him as well, and we've got some multiplier at least, so we've got half decent points for that. Another big hit from us. Ah! I think I did just catch him, didn't I? Let's hit him just to keep our multiplier up. Not that it was a big hit. And this guy. That's the bronze trophy. After roughly one minute. So that's not bad going, but... We've got to keep this going. We've got to keep this up. Knock him over. I'm going to reset there because I was sort of stuck on him. And actually, I might get to wreck him. That was really good. <laughs> well, say good, really lucky. Another hit on him. Oh, how did that not count? How did that not get any points or uh, or multiplier? Come on. We were doing pretty well up to that point and now we've suddenly stalled in terms of getting points anyway. Let's see if we can get this guy trying to avoid us, but we've got him. Let's reset again quickly. There is everyone. There we go. Big hit from the side. Just about caught him. So we've got the silver and we've got about... 30 seconds left, some damaged cars here, if we can get into them. Didn't really count for much then. 
Big hit on him if we wrecked him, yeah. We can get points for that one. Should off. Not a bad effort. Just short of the gold trophy, just 150-ish points short. Fourth and final challenge of the day is at the Hilltop Stadium on the figure of eight circuit. We're in these little mini cars. Again, they're a, a special vehicle, so there's no tuning possibilities available. And again, everyone else is in a mixture of different cars. So here we get on. Again, off the line, as you saw, the acceleration's not great with these compared to the other vehicles. But once it gets going, the top speed's not bad. So we've I think the key is to try and maintain our speed as best as we can. We don't want to keep slowing down this and speeding up any more than we can help. Crossover's free at the moment. So end of the first lap and we're up with the top few at least in, in, the, uh, in the front pack. Paul, oh, could see he was going to have a swipe at me. Fortunately, I'd got the uh, car on the other side to protect me a bit. Looking to the lead for now. See the crossover is going to come more and more into play as the laps come on. Cars coming across already. There's big gaps there, so I'm hoping we can get through. Just about. Got a little gap back now to second place which is good because I'm sure we're going to need it at some point a bit more of a cluster of cars on this crossover now but again we've managed to pick a gap in wide there got it back out quickly though so that's good with some of the results we've had in the other challenges so far today we it would be nice at least to finish with a gold trophy All going to plan so far, but as we know, it doesn't take uh, it doesn't take long for everything to change. There's a gap there, I think. Whoop. Well, I don't know what I'm going to blame that on. It's just awful driving. I'm busy looking at too many other things and not looking at the track. Luckily, we've, we've built up a good lead. Right, start the last lap. Let's concentrate now. Just got to get through that crossover one more time. We do still seem to have a, a really good healthy lead oh loads of cars got through clean again though and through for the only gold trophy of the day that's the end of the daily challenges for today I hope you've enjoyed watching the video and see you soon